Hello, hello everyone. I am Darkness and welcome to Hive Swap. I'm not going to give too much intro to it because this is actually a game set in the same universe as Homestruck. If you're here, there is a 50-50 that you actually got engrossed in Homestruck, which started in 2009. However, you don't have to know anything about the Homestruck universe to enjoy Hive Swap. As Hive Swap happens in 1994, way before Homestruck even starts. There are references and there are callbacks to it uh, that people that are uh, a fan of the series, that mega huge fan base uh, th that will enjoy, they'll enjoy it, but uh, this is its own standalone thing set in the same universe, but way before that ever happened. There's a kind of a callback to 90s games. So uh, 90s point and click adventure without, supposedly without any of the annoying parts and rich in story. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Why? No. New. So let's see what they got going for us. Well, that escalated. Your name is... I know what my name is. Sorry, you're going to need a minute. <laughs> okay, you gave yourself a minute to freak out. Because of the monster. The thing with all the legs and teeth. The one you barely got away from. Minutes up, though. You take a deep breath. Let the uncertainty slip away into the toothy, arm-waggling darkness and focus on what you know. Your name is Joey Claire. You live just outside the town of Hauntswitch. You are, in no particular order, a puzzle sol solver, solver, a semi-orphan, a dancer of multiple schools, an aspiring veterinarian, and a big sister. Speaking of, that monster, the one that barely missed eating you alive, if only you're not thinking about that right now. Only you're not thinking about that right now. It might be headed back outside where your little brother is. You've got to warn him. So... This is a, a like a, a point and click adventure. So everything you see, you can get to in some way and inspect. So look, puppy surprise is having puppies. How many? That's the surprise. Puppy surprise, puppy surprise. Oh my God. Wow, that was an actual toy. Whenever you look at this thing, the song from that commercial, puppy surprise, puppy surprise, uh, runs through your head like a snake monster on an autumn afternoon. It's a great place to stash your keepsakes, where they stay as a safe, um, stay as safe as a teen hiding in her bedroom from a snake monster. Wow. You reach inside the expectant plush canine, and puppy surprises having puppies. Also, there's keys. You get a key. Collect the diary key. While you're at it, you think maybe you should keep this beautiful heirloom of your mom's clothes. Oh my god, puppy surprise. Just a feeling, a deep, inexplicable, impossible to ignore feeling. Wow. They are going to be on the nose with the references, aren't they? Your babysitter has got you into this junior veterinarian's med kit. Got you this one. It's kind of important to you, so you think you'll leave it here for now. It would really uh, bust you up if something happened to it. Like something happening to your brother right now. Alright, so let's see what else we've got. This is where you keep your clothes. You consider your fashion statement to be fun and comfortable and try to model yourself on Clarissa. Oh my God, Clarissa explains it all. Ah, Clarissa, she really does explain quite a few things, except of course, precisely where she gets her clothes and how she manages to look so great all the time. Oh my God, Clarissa explains it all. I used to love that. Look, you're walkie talkie, half of a set. Your brother has the other one. Could come in handy. Let's let's get it. Alright. Feels a little light though. Uh-oh. 
Yep, no batteries. You remember cannibalizing the walkie-talkie when something else needed them, but you can't recall exactly what the something else was. Alright, well, I see a monster, like, out there over and over. Like, bats flying around, that can't be good. Oh, one day you hope to be a veterinarian. Then you can be one ca uh, caring for fuzzy-faced baby critters. So when someone catches you in the act of snuggling them all, and tells you to take a hike, you can flash your vet badge and say you're here on professional medical business. Then they'll have to take the hike, not you. Alright. Let's see. Computer. Old computer. Oh my god. Your modem always makes a mighty racket logging you on. Probably not worth riling up any hallway snakes to surf your sights right now. It's not like there's much new to see anyway. You sure that Jude will have let you know if there anyone in your web ring had updated their sights? All right. This is Sir Bappy <laughs> Pawswatter. Wow, Sir Bappy Pawswatter, your beloved manthro chap. You ch you tend to his fuzzy whims and needs when you trouble to imagine what they might be. What a daring dream to combine the finest qualities of the animal kingdom with the nobility of hum uh, hum human human animals. Wait, you mean wait you with the nobility of human human animals. Wait, you mean humanity? Yeah. That took a second to pronounce. Anyway, Sir Bappy Paps, uh, Posswatter. <laughs> That's gonna mess me up. Sir Bappy Posswatter. Well, have you tend to his own fussy whims and needs for a while? You've got a lot of crap on your plate right now. Okay, I'm looking for something electric at the moment. Uh, that might need batteries. Wow, Super Nintendo. Baller. Uh, my Little Pony. Fuzzy Little Hippos. Um, everything can be explored, so, hold on, there's a, there's a sense of everything being explored for a second. Ooh. Uh-oh. You briefly muse on the metaphorical significance of the flashing light. What could it represent? The past? The future? America! It's your stupid brother, you need to get in touch with him. Um, uh, no. Yikes, more of them? Gentrification is a real monster. <laughs> oh, God. Blistering social commentary aside, you sincerely hope that you and your brother aren't killed and eaten by these eyeless horrors. Actually, it kind of looks... It looks like they have one eye. It, it, remember when you were raking up the, those leaves? Your dog knocked Jude over, and you laughed, and then everything turned to monsters. Ah, oh, memories. The sarcasm is strong in this one. It'd be nice if these monsters were as weirdly uh, weirded out by that weird skull fountain as you were. Unfortunately, that thing is probably mar monster chic. Poor puppy. If that icky snaky thing hurt her, well, you'd use your budding veterinarian uh, veterinary skills to patch her up and make it all better. But she'd also be very angry. Hey, what's with the T-Rex over here? Right now, she doesn't seem to want to come out of her doghouse. You don't blame her. No, I wouldn't either. What do, what do you got? Can I... The sun has just set, making for a glorious autumn eve. As such, uh, autumn, uh, autumnal evening glory radiates from the heavens, kissing the clouds on its way down to earth. Stupid clouds, all untouchable and inferior and stuff. Ephir inf wow, my English is failing, uh, failing me right now. Ephemeral? Yeah, something like that. Man, English is hard sometimes. Okay, let's collect some more things. Second mom, oh my god. This game is only available in Japan, but this kid at school that says his uncle works at a games company, oh my god. My dad works at Nintendo. He says to, he gets to play all sorts of secret, secret games before they even come out here. He runs off his mouth at all like this insider information and sources inside the game companies. But honestly, you think he's just desperate for attention. My dad works at Nintendo. Second mom, is that supposed to be like an Earthbound reference? You tend to ignore him and focus on more pleasant things, like the super cool poster. Second mom rules. A prodigious collection of titles for your console's hungry, cartridge-shaped mouth. All the best ones are here. Well, all the ones you happen to own are here. You can spend all day listening, listing them. There's Busby, there's... Mentioning Busby makes you feel a little queasy, so you think you'll stop there. You might go lie down for a little bit, actually. Uh, I can play this. You just 
You just saved before fighting the final boss, which means you'll need to, to budget several hours to fight through its various forms, and anti-forms, and transformations. And look, you've got a lot on your plate right now. Alright, here we got the diary key. Go ahead. Diary key. On here. You unlock and open your diary. Nice. Juicy secrets. Here you come. Except they're just your boring secrets, so you don't really care. Alright, I can look at it. You usually don't have much time to record in here on account of the humdrum life you lead. But you think today will be a different story. Maybe you should take a moment to record a note now, just in case this is your last chance to set down your final words before your tragic demise at the hands of a horrible snaky thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll write down a note. Maybe something from your past will shed light on today's terror mysteries. Some little detail. Mentioned offhand and forgotten, the key kicking off a casual cascade of connections that terminates in a catas uh, catastrophe of snake monsters. April 13th, 1994. Dear Diary, ho hum, nothing much happened today. I tried to make some new friends at school, to maybe expand our social circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Wait, is it weird to call my brother's friends my social circle? Oh well, you know what I mean, Diary. I don't have any friends I can really call mine, so I'm trying to branch out. I guess it's better than calling them my web ring. The kids at school are j jerks, though, and they called me a poser when I tried to talk to them about games I like and stuff. Between you and me, I think a bunch of the kids at school might be evil? Jeez, now I'm sounding all paranoid like my brother. They're just up to no good. I can feel it. Joey. June 12th, 1994. Dear Diary. Whew. First day of summer vacation. I can't wait to get a break from all those clowns at school. Sometimes I think I w that I uh, really. Sometimes I think what I really need is a vacation from humanity. October twenty fifth, dear diary. I can't believe I haven't recorded an entry since the beginning of last summer. Needless to say, I've been back to school for a while now. Next summer can co can't come soon enough. Frowny face. I came back home to a drunk babysitter again today. Oh, that's sad. Sure is some uh, quality adult supervision we youngsters are getting around here. She means well enough, though. Haven't heard from Pa in weeks. What is Pa doing away? Last we saw of him, he popped in the house to drop off more stupid mummies and globes or whatever, then skipped off onto more adventures. What a bozo. Also, how lame is it that we, he, made us all, uh, he made us call him Pa instead of Dad while we were growing up? That is kind of weird. Where's Mom? I miss mom. Oh, crap. <sighs> if this is going to be the last entry in your journal, then by gum you're going to scare the bejesus out of whoever finds it once you're snake chow. November 11th, so today is November 11th, 1994. Dear Diary, forgive my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a bit excited? Anyway, can't talk much now. There's a sly and cunning monster on the prowl, possibly hungry for kid meat too, so I've got to go. Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I have to do, but I'll fill you in later on once I do. Joey. Satisfied you've done your duty, vis-a-vis, uh, vis uh, vis uh, vis uh, I know, via V? How is that supposed to be pronounced? Posterity, in case the worst should happen, you relock your diary and hide the key again, safe and sound. Yeah, but where did I hide the key? Since she's been gone, you've seen less and less of Pa over the years. Guess he's had greener pastures to move on to. Or bluer beauties. That little girl there? She's destined for big things. Big hopes, big fears, big worries. Big loneliness. Now hold on. Pull yourself together. What would your mom say if she knew you were thinking like that? You really wish you knew. Oh no, something happened to mom. And she's like, gone, gone. Okay. Here's an important question now that- Oh, connect four! Uh, four colored circles. Uh, who's trying to do the same? You can also theoretically, uh, theoretically connect five if you're kind of a showy jerk. Yeah, yeah, you can. Appreciate! <laughs> you give it a good hard stare, yeah. You're appreciating the heck out of this art. It would be difficult, if not impossible, for anyone to appreciate it more. Wow, okay. The, 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 is this a troll? What is that troll doing there? Oh god, Rubik's Cubes. But, oh god, Simon, what is Simon doing? Oh, that's, 
All right, that's where you put the walkie-talkie batteries. You'll just take them back out. Okay, one more game for all times to take first. Jude's probably fine. Oh my god, I have to play Simon and Says. Oh my god. You remember the tone, not the colors. Mm. Ba, ba. No, I did it right. Did it not click all the ones? Yeah, I did. Oh, it looks like the green button isn't working. Well, nostalgia satisfied. Might as well scavenge the batteries. Okay, it wasn't me. All right, success. The walkie-talkie works like a charm now. A charm with battery power. You feel pretty pleased with yourself. It would seem you just solved your first puzzle of many. And what is sure to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. Wow. Then again, putting batteries in a thing isn't technically solving a problem. A puzzle, you suppose. It's just overcoming a minor inconvenience that you created yourself using mundane, widely available modern technology. Wow, are they... Are... <laughs> <laughs> okay. You don't care, though. You're counting it! Yeah, I'd count it, too. Jude, you there? Are you all right? Yes! <laughs> Been covertly signaling status and requesting yours. Over. You mean the lantern? I don't know Morse code. Would never use such easy decipher <laughs> decipherable code. Over. Enemy, <laughs> enemy agents everywhere, over. Wait, unover. Still unconfirmed, via V, your condition following enemy serpent encounter, over. Please report bite status. How many and how gross, over. Uh, I could, no, I'm not gonna be a jerk. I'm fine. I'm fine, no bites, you weirdo. But thank you for asking, it was a close one. Great was worried, over. That reminds me, after I shut the door on it, I think I heard it ch uh, clomping off back down the stairs. I don't think you should leave your treehouse anytime soon. It might be headed back your way. No plans of leaving current location yard crawling with cryptic vanguard. Over. Um, cryptic vanguard? No, I saw them. Yeah, whatever's going on, I guess we should just wait it out since we're both safe where we are. Negative. Over. What? Why not? Purely defensive posture, tactically suicidal. <laughs> Monsters likely just distraction. Could have obscured additional agents on approach. Over. Do you mean like more monsters or... Can't discuss on unsecured channel. Can't be certain who's listening. But evidence points to... Antares class conspiracy cascade. Over. Um... Uh, <laughs> what? This is the actual sentence I'd like to say to him. What, uh, what, over? What, over? <laughs> relieved you're talking this, uh, relieved you're taking this seriously. Are you totally prepared <laughs> to begin forward operations? No going back now, Joey. Over. I was making fun of you, Dweeb. I'm not going anywhere. Trust crucial on bat- <laughs> Trust crucial on the battlefield, Joey. Hoping presence of monsters have tip equation away from typical skepticism over. Uh, I trust you. Okay, that's that's fair. Okay, now what do I need? Uh, what do I need to know? Your current position not secure. Large yard facing windows. Location compromised to enemy. Situation rapidly deteriorating. Must abscond to attract j uh, to attic. Joey over. The attic. Yes, the attic. Strong door. Well stocked with tactical material. Man, I cannot, he's all caps. I cannot keep doing this. Take left out of bedroom, go upstairs. Highest room in the house, over. I know what the, uh, what the attic is, Jude. I was just a, it was just a weird suggestion. What else is new? More inscrutable rambling from my treehouse lunatic brother. Don't understand. You sounded confused. Trying to help, over. Look, just shut up, okay? I'll... Sneak up there, lock the door, and you can... No, the babysitter sounds mean. Call the cops. Call the babysitter? Does the babysitter actually mean well? Who to sacrifice? Call the... He's a conspiracy nut. The cops are not going to work. Call a babysitter. 
Too late to reach her at lab working day long done. Over. Oh no, you're right. Agreed on both counts. Baby, babysitter capable strifer could help tip scales. Might also help convince you to get into safety. Dude, I'm going to go to the stupid attic, okay? I'm sorry for being mean. Do you have your weapon? Over. Uh, uh, what weapon? What weapon? Do you mean my old weapon? What for? Serpent swarming everywhere. Over. You want me to go fight them with a flashlight? Don't blame you. <laughs> Don't blame you for being nervous with high concentration of serpent presence. You must be brave. Your brother believes in you and knows you can beat the serpents. Over. Stop saying serpents. Do you recall where weapon is? Over. Yeah. It's in the closet. Understood. All set then. Over. No, I mean the hall closet. Crap! Over. Yeah, well, I guess I'll have to take your word about this. You are sure about all this, right? Absolutely, extremely certain. Over. Over and out, Squirt. Oh, Squirt. Oh! 90s television. Okay, we're gonna go deal with, uh... We're gonna go deal with the hall monsters here. Hold on. Let's go ahead and, uh... What's this thing? Beanbags are making a big comeback lately. It's been sitting... It's bad. Oh, it says it beats. It beats sitting on the floor. That's all you can really ask of a beanbag. That is true. That's really all you can ask of a beanbag. I got a weird key. I wonder if the uh, other key went back into, like, puppy. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So next time I need to make a note, I can just do that. Okay. Last thing I gotta check out is... Uh, your babysitter gave this uh, to you for your birthday. Joey, she said. This wizard's the best. He lives in his little wizard, uh, wizardy orb, just swimming in spells and glitter. He will protect you. Look, he's doing it right now. Your babysitter loves wizards, obviously. She's pretty great. Oh, so you do like your babysitter. Bake? Easy bake? You're all of the baking stuff. You're not too busted up about it, though. You're pretty tough. I want to check out the viewfinder of the shoes. Equip the shoes. You add the tap dance uh, abilitech to your technique. Yep, those are the words that refer to the, uh, those concepts. You learned them literally just now. <laughs> okay. These will help if there's anything you need to shake up or shake off. If you're just in the mood to shake it. Nope. Okay. Not working out for me right now. Let's go out. Mark. It's the 11th of November. Today started off just like any other day, with another sunrise and the sound of songbirds going hog wild in the, uh, out there in the trees. But their songs have all been stopped, and now there's something else going hog wild out there. You don't know what it's like, but it ain't birds, and it sure as Hank ain't hogs. All right. Can we... Yeah, can I... Yeah, I gotta go out now. Looks like the coast is clear. For now. Better hurry up over to the hall closet and retrieve your weapon before that crafty old serpent you mean snake can get the drop on you. Alright. We're gonna... I'm gonna keep picking it up. This game has a lot that you can get into. I like the music behind it, too. There's a lot that you can get into in this game. It is a point-and-click adventure, so it's as much as or as little as you want to get into. I'm not going to do voices for them, because if I start doing voices, then I gotta keep thinking of continuity, and I'm gonna mess up my throat. Holy crap, the music kicked in strong, though. But, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And remember, if you want to see more of this as it comes out, make sure to hit that subscribe as I'll be, you know, going through Hive Swap. So, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you back here for the next one really, really soon. Bye!